would like to thank one of my subscribers, Jay Herdell Hall, for this story. The Mississippi River, y'all, is drying up and it's at very dangerously low levels. And it ultimately will halt shipping. So, you know, like all of the droughts that we're looking at in this country, it's been going on for decades. So the Mississippi River is flowing at its lowest level in at least a decade. And until rain relieves the worsening drought in the region, it's becoming increasingly difficult to maintain water levels high enough to carry critical exports from the nation's breadbasket. Areas of persistent and developing drought stretches across much of the Mississippi Basin, which itself covers 41% of its contingent United States. Ladies and gentlemen, I looked at big stretches of this river. I did not realize how bad the Mississippi River really is. It is really bad. You know, when things like this happen, it's not much they can do. You know, they're really at the mercy of the weather. So if some big storm that comes and brings a lot of rain and the rain persists for several days, they may be, you know, it may give you some relief. So the record set, uh, setting storms cause catastrophic flooding in parts of the watershed this summer. The few past months have been among the driest on records in part of the heartland. At times um, of the year where the water levels are, you know, normal, they are at very low points right now. The long-term forecast suggests that unusually dry weather is likely to continue. Wow. At some spots, gauges reported the Mississippi River stages, a measure of water height normally used to evaluate water conditions with negative values, the indication of how far below levels the water have receded. Okay. Wow. I mean, it, when you look at it, it is hard to believe that it's gotten this bad. All right. So there are also risks for drinking water. The relative trinkle that is reaching the South River's mouth in Louisiana. And they're saying, um, you know, Mississippi from the Gulf of Mexico is threatening to taint drinking water drawn from the river and requiring emergency action by the Army Corps of Engineers. Repeatedly over the past week, water levels have become too low for barges to float, requiring the Corps to halt maritime traffic on the river and dredge channels deep enough even for barges to carry lighter than normal loads days after a queue of stalled river traffic grew to more than 1,700 barges during emergency dredging near Vicksburg, Mississippi. A separate 24-hour dredging closure began Tuesday near Memphis. More dredging, which routinely cost billions of dollars a year, could be needed if barges continue to run aground. Wow. The transportation industry said the intervention is needed to maintain a flow of exports that is central to the country's agriculture uh, industry. About 60% of U.S. corn and soybeans, corn and soybeans exports, move down the Mississippi River. So 
there are other states that are heavily impacted by the drying of the Mississippi River. So it's Arkansas, Illinois, Ohio, and Tennessee, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture. You know, you never really realize how much you depend on water until you're running out and you realize how important it is. And the thing is, y'all, they can't control this. This cannot be controlled at all. Mm -mm. Boy, and I thought Lake Mead looked bad. Mm. Had no idea other parts of the country where you see a lot of this drying is equally as bad. Commerce is moving very slowly, said Deb Calhoun, a senior vice president for the Waterways Council, a transportation industry group. Ultimately, we need rain and lots of it. Drought is pronounced across much of the country's west of Mississippi, including some two thirds of the Northern Plains states that drain to the Mississippi, I'm sorry, the Missouri River and then the Mississippi. U.S. drought monitor data shows. Mm -mm -mm. So precipitation totals rank among the 15th driest that Oklahoma, Mississippi, Kansas, Iowa, and South Dakota have seen for June through September. It has been Nebraska's third driest record stretch of the summer into fall, according to the National Centers for Environmental Information. Such a drastic constriction in water flows across such a large area has translated to an unusually lasting impact on Mississippi River levels. The last time dry conditions had such an effect on the river was a decade ago. If those areas were to stay dry through the rest of the year, levels could be even worse than we had in 2012. Mm -mm -mm. So right now they're saying the river, uh, the river levels are not expected to hit record lows just yet. It's difficult to compare current conditions across the record books because the river banks have changed so dramatically from pre-industrial times. On the Mississippi alone, water passed through dozens of locks and dams. But if the current dry conditions surpass those observed in 2012, they may approach the severity of a 1988 low water crisis. So, but they're looking at long-term weather forecast and they're not seeing any significant change in the precipitation pattern in the coming weeks. Yeah, I mean, without the water, it will shut down so many. You got to look at the overall trickle down effect because if they can't get exports in and out of there, then that's going to trickle down to your retail and your stores and all of the places that you depend on, you know, just getting goods and food and, and everything that you need. Wow. While the center said it expects a near normal precipitation patterns over the next week or two across the Mississippi basin, bringing some chances of rain, dry conditions are predicted to resume for the latter part of October into early November. Meantime, the low river levels are causing costly problems and even expose a 19th century shipwreck in downtown Baton Rouge. I'm sure it's going to reveal a lot. I mean, look at what happened with Lake Mead. It started uh, revealing bodies. <laughs> so 
I'm not surprised if it reveals even bodies at this point. But y'all, this is crazy. But, you know, this is all part of biblical prophecy that these things would happen. You, you see in the rivers drying, not only here in America, but worldwide. Wow. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this story. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.